A team of students from Washington University in St. Louis created an autonomous vehicle inspired by insects. The low-cost self-driving vehicle received top placement in an international robotics competition in China. This autonomous car is named Flowbot, like a robot, and Flowbot is inspired by the way insects use an optical flow method to navigate and avoid obstacles in an agile manner. As for the checkered boxes in its path, there's a reason. Optical flow senses contrast between pixels in a frame. So by checkering the boxes, we were able to create a lot of contrast on an object and making it easier to sense and easier to avoid. Taking the lead on the optical flow method is Flowbot team member Will Luer, graduate student at Washington University in St. Louis. He explains how insects are key to Flowbot's bio-inspired algorithm for avoiding obstacles. Kind of like how insects, they don't have well-developed sights. They can sense motion and they can try to minimize optical flow, um, meaning that they can go towards an object and by minimizing optical flow, they're also minimizing their motion. And optical flow, what it does is it captures motion between subsequent frames in a video. We calculate optical flow and we can infer how far away we are from an object. And by understanding how far away we are from an object, we can avoid that object. When you look at the problem of how to make uh, autonomous technology uh, very energy efficient, uh, you have to look at nature for inspiration. So that's where, uh, where we get our inspiration is from uh, insect. Go little guy. It's processing the uh, visual information it sees. And then it's trying to make a decision. You can see it's kind of uh, deciding uh, left or right by kind of moving a tiny little amount. It's because it's trying to uh, pick up the visual cues uh, through the optical flow algorithm and decide whether which direction it should go. The work is done in assistant professor Sylvia Zhang's lab. The Flowbot team tinkered in the lab almost nine months to develop this low-cost, so, self-driving okay. vehicle. At the heart of the technology that we are developing in my lab is how we can embed uh, intelligence and autonomy into a system which has uh, stringent constraints of energy, power, and size. It's very energy efficient, um, meaning you can do the computation uh, using very, very low power. Uh, and that's why uh, insect, if you think about it, even with not a lot of brain power, they are able to navigate very gracefully in their natural environment. With their ideas already in motion, there was another challenge, the Silk Road Robotics Innovations Competition in China. With only a month's notice, they kicked everything into high gear. Each team member played a key role in this somewhat high stakes adventure. I specifically worked on the computer vision part of it. So I developed a software that would recognize these obstacles and avoid them. I'm responsible of the electrical part. The car is powered by one battery, and it has one microprocessor, one microcontroller, and several sensors and uh, a motor. So they all work at different voltage, and I need to make sure all the communications and the control are good. So all this part is uh, 3D printed, uh, and we designed all these parts by ourselves from scratch. So I was and I was in charge of the front part of the car. So this uh, steering system is called Ackerman system, and that's the part that I had, that was my contribution to this project. And I helped him with the chassis, and then also with building the robot. What we were building was we were building PyCar, which is a platform on which to build autonomous technology. So this is a PyCar, and this is Flowbot. So on top of the PyCar, we built the Flowbot platform, which only uses a camera to sense its environment. And we could have put a bunch of other sensors on here, and it would have been easier for us to avoid obstacles. But we wanted to show that we could get by with just a camera. You don't really need a lot of sensors. Um, but we give people the opportunity to use our platform to put as, my, as many sensors as they want on there and use that as like a learning opportunity. They created an open source platform, which Zhang said gave their team the winning edge. 
we made our technology open source, you can very easily replicate what we are doing. I think that's what set us apart from the rest of the competition uh, because we have this larger vision. And she says what they demonstrated has value for advancements in the development of autonomous technology, like unmanned delivery drones. It has to navigate from one location to another and obviously avoid things in the air as it moves. And when you're carrying a huge payload on a package, um, having a light system that's efficient in its power usage is very important. So I guess one application could be Amazon Prime Air's drone delivery service. The team left China with a winning title, placing in the top 10, receiving a cash prize of $750. There were a lot of great teams there, and we were, I, I knew we were pretty good, but being one of the top ones was really exciting. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.